Now, it may be summer, but across the region, millions of pounds is being spent preparing our hospitals for the winter. Last week, the government announced £3 billion for the NHS to fight a second wave of coronavirus and pledged to increase COVID testing to 500,000 a day. It's aimed to help the NHS cope with whatever they're faced with at a time when hospitals are always stretched. Our health correspondent, Alistair Fee, has been to see a new COVID ward that opened today in Surrey. Actually, you look for the action, the up or the down. Caroline is training to use the latest hospital facilities. This is all new kit, bought to help with the ongoing challenge of COVID-19. It's all spanking brand new and state-of-the-art equipment. And so we're all set up in case we do have that second, um, second wave. We don't know when it's going to happen, um, but we're prepared. We're still in... COVID land at the moment. While so doctors and nurses were caring for patients with a virus they'd never faced before, away from the Royal Surrey County Hospital's main building, this new ward was being built. We have learnt that it's better, obviously, to nurse patients in a single room environment so that we have all the equipment to hand and ready. We've got the nice lobby areas outside of the room where the staff put on their PPE effectively and take it off effectively without taking any risk of infection into the corridor and things like those lessons that we've learned are very, very important to grow and to allow our patients to receive the care that they deserve. There are 20 new rooms in which patients can be kept isolated and equipped to help them breathe and stay conscious. For several weeks now, there have been less than 10 patients with COVID-19 in the hospital. All of those will be transferred here this week. The main site will be COVID-free and on standby in case there's a spike of patients with coronavirus in the months ahead. I think there's a false kind of perception that we're, we're over it and, and, and COVID is, is past its peak. It's, of course, past its first peak. And we have to be prepared for a second wave, whether that's a big wave or a small peak or multiple small peaks. There's lots of different models predicting it. I'm not pretending that I know what's going to happen. I don't think anyone really does. The winter period seems maybe far away, but it isn't. That's always a challenging time with other infections. So we have to be prepared for all eventualities. On average, just three new patients with coronavirus symptoms are being seen here a day. So it's much quieter, which means there's time for this training. But the focus has turned to what the winter will bring, and wards like this will be the first line of defence. Alistair Fee, BBC South Today.